falling in love all over again. Courtney, here with your two minutes of mayhem. It's definitely mayhemy. All right. Definitely mayhemy. Okay, so the first situation where these authorities had to shut down a two mile stretch of Huntington Beach due to sightings of three large sharks. Take a look at these puppies. Uh, sheriff's helicopter spotted uh, the crews, uh, the beasts rather, uh, about 150 yards off of Sunset Beach, and they're each estimated to be about eight feet long. Mm. So long sharks. Mm. Uh, the sharks have not exhibited aggressive behavior. Mm -hmm. Just but, being there is aggressive. What are you talking right? about? Good <laughs> Just showing up. Huntington Beach uh, is known for surfing, though, and authorities were concerned for the safety of the public there. So the beach is expected to reopen today. I'm just saying, you take all the time you need. Exactly. You do what you want to do, and you leave when you are ready. The entire <laughs> beach is yours. It's crazy. Okay, this is crazy. Can you dig it? A graveyard in Hungary. See, See what, what I did there? Did there. Uh, See what I did there? There's a graveyard. Can you dig it? Solemn contemplation gave way to a frantic sportsmanship as dozens of grave diggers battled to prove that they are the fastest and best in the business. Check this out: 18 wow. two-men teams shuffled at the ground to dig a precise regulation grave size as quickly as possible. The Hungarian Undertakers Association deputy chairman—that's quite a title—says he uh, doesn't think that the contest is morbid. It's a profession with colleagues who are very proud and deserve the utmost respect. So, in less than half an hour, the local team, perhaps enjoying the home team advantage, finished their. Grave first. Stragglers took almost an hour. Look there. He's taking a little. No, yeah. I'm still going to call that morbid. Yeah, it is very morbid. Yeah. <laughs> it's very morbid. Sir. But okay. Shovels up. Yeah. yeah I guess. Nice okay. job. I'm get it. Okay. Okay. Now, this one I might have to add to my next follow. It's an internet <laughs> sensation. <laughs> you are so cute. <laughs> internet is falling in love with this new uh, mix. It's the owner, dog owner Dave Lasso, made an Instagram account just for his new four legged friend. This is Maya, ladies and gentlemen. She is two years old. She is a Pomsky. A Pomsky, meaning she's a Pomeranian and Siberian Husky mix. Look oh. at this. Would you look at her? That's a great Just man. look at yeah, her. Yeah, it is. Stunning. She looks like a little blue fox or a little fox with blue eyes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and now many look at Maya and think, I want one too. But here's the thing. Many Pomskis don't necessarily look like Maya because there's a huge range of what the crossbreeds can look like in terms of yeah. colors and patterns and size. And when a Pomsky is She's a puppy, gorgeous. you have no idea it's what it's going to look like when it's an adult. So uh, oh. we can admire Maya from afar. Her Instagram account has nearly 22,000 <laughs> followers. You're so cute. It's a great looking dog. Oh, you're just so cute. Hello, Mama. Hello, Maya. That's her sassy pose. Yeah. Right. She's like, oh my God. It's a great looking dog. Isn't yeah. she? She's mm -hmm. stunning. Mm -hmm. That's going to do it for your two minutes of mayhem. <laughs> that was mayhem. It was mayhem. It was definitely that mayhem. Was... That's sufficiently mayhem. <laughs> Great digging. Thank you, Court.